Hi, my name is Junior and I'm an instructor here at Easy Wheels Driving School. Uh, we're one of the biggest establishments here in New Jersey as far as driving school goes. We've been over in business over 30 years and we got plenty of videos on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook and YouTube and like and subscribe. Now, that being said, this is the automatic truck. This video will be showing you how to perform the air brake test and the inside cabin inspection. We already have a video on the manual. This is for the automatic. And we also have the video for the outside inspection already set up on our page. So getting right into it, the first thing you want to do when you're taking your test at the DMV with the automatic is you want to chalk your tires. You have two chocks, one for the front of the tire, one for the back of it. When you chalk your tires, make sure you touch the tire with the chalk. Give yourself a little bit of space sticking out. That way you'll be able to kick it off nice and easy. Same for the rear. Touching the tire, leaving yourself a little bit of space. That way you'll be able to kick it right off. Also, another tip, when you're climbing inside and outside of the truck, make sure you have three-point contact, which is you can grab the handle, you can grab the door handle, and then you can grab the steering wheel when you climb in. When you climb out, you would do the same, vice versa. You grab the steering wheel, grab the door handle, and then you would grab the handle here, okay? Three-point contact at all times. Once you're ready to start and the examiner gives you the okay, you begin your test by saying, I'm going to begin with a safe start. So a safe start just consists of a few things. You start the truck. The seat belt is now rip cut afraid. Make sure you put it on. It locks properly. Make sure your truck is in, uh, the brakes are applied. So you pull the tractor and the trailer and make sure they're on. Turn the key to the right. That gives the truck power. It'll turn on the ABS light signal right here. My indicator came on and off. That means the ABS light indicator is working properly. You got to make sure that the truck is also in neutral, which is N. You look at your air pressure. In this case, it's already low. Now, let's just say it was almost at max. You would tell the examiner, I'm going to lower it down a little bit to build it up. But you should even say now as well, make sure you indicate that my pressure is already low. So... I'm going to just turn on the vehicle to build up the air pressure. Make sure you always point it out to the examiner where the pressure is at. So if it's full, you fan it down a little bit. And then if it's not, if it's not full, you don't have to fan it down, but just make sure you tell them the pressure is already low. So I'm just going to turn on the vehicle to build up the air pressure. So I'm going to turn it on. That will start building up the air pressure. You can tell him the governor is going to release between 120 and 140. Okay, so we're going to wait for that to happen. Now, if I accelerate on the gas and bring the RPMs to about 10, 1,000, that'll help it build up a little bit faster. So we're gonna help it out by giving a little bit of gas. It's gonna rise just a little bit faster. The reason it's beeping is because it's under 60 pounds. So it's gonna make that beep, uh, that sound, that alarm until it's over, until it reaches past 60. So I'm holding it just to raise a little faster. It's gonna take a few minutes. You gotta be a little patient. At this time, you just have to be patient and just wait silently. This is the actual hardest part of the test, only because they can't, there's no uh, room for error. You have to do this part of the test perfect, which is the air brakes. The cabin is points when you do start checking the lights and the wipers and the defect, that's all points. But the air brake test, it must be 100% perfect, okay? In order for you to pass or fail this part. If it gets jammed, you can pump it a, time, a few times and then just accelerate again. Now it's rising. So sometimes it might get stuck depending where it's at. So you pump the service brake down a couple times and then you give gas and it'll start to build again. And there it is. Now it's rising. a little bit longer. 
All right, I just heard the governor, so my air pressure is full between 120 and 140. Now you can begin your air brake test, all right? So like I said, this is the most important part of the test. You can't mess this up. There's no second chances. And it's very simple. You just gotta remember to do these simple things. One is when you turn off the key, turn off the truck, and you turn the key to the left, hold your hand on the key, all right? And then turn it back to the on position, like so. That gives it power. Can't forget to do that. Shut it off, turn the key. Right after you do that, you must release these brakes. So you're gonna push them in. I suggest press firmly with your palm for three seconds. One, two, three. Then the trailer. One, two, and three. Okay. Then you're gonna take out your timer on your phone. You're gonna have your digital stop uh, watch ready. You're gonna reset it, have it on zero. And you're gonna tell the examiner, I cannot lose more than four pounds of pressure in one minute. Now, when, when you say starting now is when you actually apply the service breakdown. So once I apply the service breakdown, I'm gonna say starting now and I'm gonna start my timer. So I cannot lose more than more than four pounds of pressure in one minute and I'm gonna start the timer starting now. So you're gonna wait the full minute and you're gonna have it on your phone, okay? Cause you gotta wait 60 seconds. If you don't wait the full minute, it will cause you to fail. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna skip through the minute. So I'm gonna pretend the minute passed, but you can't do that on the test. You really have to wait the full minute. So I'm gonna say, I'm pretending, the minute passed, I didn't lose more than four pounds of pressure, and you're done with that part of the test right there, that section. The next section for the air brakes is the low pressure warning light and alarm, and that has to come on before it reaches 60. Now, how do you make it go down? It's just you keep pumping the service brake. When we fan the service brake, the pressure drops and you're gonna stop right before 60 and the alarm is gonna sound. But it won't sound if you forgot to turn the key. So make sure the key is on to the right, to the uh, on position, which is to the right. Left will have power, but it won't make the buzzer sound. Middle is off and right is the on position. So you wanna, when you shut it off to the middle, put it back to the right, to the on position, make sure it's tilted. So I'm gonna start fanning, uh, fanning down the brake. And there it is. So the low pressure warning light, an alarm is sounding right before it reaches 60 pounds. So that's the second part of the check uh, for the air brake test. And the third one is the emergency spring brakes. And they must pop between 20 and 40. Now, if I just go like this with my finger, automatically failed. And if I try to release the brakes now, because let's say I forgot to release them in the beginning, also too late you will fail. They must have been pushed in in the very beginning when we started within the minute where the key was on and the brakes were released now it'll be too late that's why i said it's a little difficult this part of the test so make sure you don't mess up okay so i'm gonna start pumping the brake until they both pop i'm gonna demonstrate it between 20 and 40. okay both spring brakes popped out between 20 and 40 and that part of the test for the air brakes is completed. You can kind of relax now because you passed one of the hardest parts of the test. The rest will be all points, okay? So before we continue, this will be the moment to remove the chalk since the brakes are now applied. So you're gonna turn off the truck. Well, not, it's already off, but you're gonna turn off the power of the truck by turning the key to the middle. You're gonna unlatch your seatbelt, grab your gloves, and I'm gonna go remove the chalks and I'll be right back, okay? Remember, three-point contact, keep your hand on the steering wheel, keep your hand on the door, then the handle, and you go down. You come back inside, place the chalk back inside. Alright, once you come back inside, don't forget to put back on your seatbelt as well. And we're going to continue with the cabin inspection. Now, you're going to have a checklist that he's going to provide to you. It's going to look like this. Or you can actually bring your own right here. You can bring your own. You get it from the manual. The DMV is free. You just rip it out. It just can't have any markers on it. It has to be like this. You can mark it while you're doing the test. But now while you can't bring it with the marks on it already. So <laughs> once you're back inside, let me get the key. Okay. Put the key back in the ignition. You're going to go box per box, right? Each one is a point. So we're going to go down the list. It sits in the beginning here in vehicle, which means this section right here. 
you don't want to do the part where it goes out to the outside part, which will be down here, okay? The light operation is all that. So the external light check is actually something that's performed even before they even come and begin to test. Sometimes they'll have you even do it with myself or they'll have you, uh, they'll do it with you. But it's just a simple light check will be while you're inside, they'll indicate to you do left, do right, do your four way flashers, do your high beams. On the rear will be left, right, um, four ways, and then the service brake. Most of the time they do that even before you even begin and they guide you through that part. Um, then they'll have you do what I just performed, which is the air brakes, chalk the tires, come in, do the air brake test. And then after you put the chocks back in, after the valves pop between 20 and 40, when you come back into this part, this is where we're going to start with the points here with the system here. So I'm going to tell him I'm going to build up the air pressure again. So I'll turn the key to the right, make sure that comes on, the ABS light, all the lights are working, and I turn on the truck. All right, so performing the light checks right so the light indicators right here so we got this right here we already did this part air brakes parking and service uh now we're at the light indicators so light indicators we're going to go left signal indicator is working you got to make sure you identify with your finger right indicator is working identify with your finger for your four-way flashers is on top now you indicate it with your finger my four-way flashers are working and then your high beams are also working you turn on your lights your headlights upward and then you pull here and you'll see that the blue light is there my high beam indicator is working so you pretty much what you're checking is just the indicators on the inside you already did the outside lights in the even before you began with them all right keep, keeping down going on the list you got the emergency equipment so we're gonna go we got an abc fire extinguisher that's fully charged gauge on green it has a locking pin is locked i have three triangle reflectors here in uh, case of an emergency inside the box I also have electrical spare fuses over here in this pouch. So those are your emergency equipments. Windshield uh, and traffic monitor devices would be my front windshield is not cracked or damaged, no illegal stickers, no obstructions. My passenger side mirror is not cracked or damaged, no illegal stickers, uh, securely mounted to the vehicle, uh, no signs of damage on that or the bracket. My uh, passenger side, that's the driver's side, that's your passenger side mirror, uh, not cracked, damaged or broken. Securely mounted, no illegal stickers. So driver's side mirror, passenger side mirror. And front windshield. Those are those. Uh, that, that's that's called a monitored, uh, monitoring device, traffic monitoring device. Wipers and washers. So uh, you hold down the wiper button, right? That'll turn on the wipers. You say they're operating correctly. They have proper tension. The washer fluid is working. And the blades are not dry rotted. Okay? Uh, that'll knock that out. After that, keep going down. You got heater and defroster. So you would turn the valves all the way to the right, the one uh, in the middle all the way to the right, and the one the end all the way to the right. So it'll be heat, defrost, and the fan is on. Put your hand on top. Say, I feel the defroster working. Then you would turn this to the front vents here and make sure it's on heat again, like I said. And then check here and say, my heater unit for the ventilation here is working on the top and the bottom. All right, so that will be for the heat and the defroster. Uh, horns. So my electrical horn is working. Okay. And then for the air horn, you, you got to make sure the air pressure is actually kind of higher above, above than 60. So if not, then it won't operate. So you just make sure that the air pressure is full and then no sound. And then you need an air horn. But if it doesn't have an air horn, you would just tell them this doesn't provide an air horn. So in this case, it doesn't have one. So if it has an elect electrical horn, you mentioned that, check it. And then the air horn as well. Okay, it could be either here with a rope or it could be a little button down here. All right, and that pretty much covers all the lists as far as what you're checking on the inside. So we did the air brake uh, system already. We did the, the cabin, which is the uh, lights, the wipers, the mirrors, the windshield, and the emergency equipment. And now, since we were doing the cabin inspection, the pressure sh sh is back to normal, which is uh, full between 120 and 140. We're going to finish off by checking the actual parking brakes, all right? So you're going to check your trailer brake, your tractor brake, and your service brake. So you're going to put it in drive. You're gonna, uh, you don't have to press on the service brake at this moment. All you got to do is just release one of these. I'm going to release the trailer brake first, which is the red one. Releasing means pushing in. I'm going to push it down. Okay. So that means I, I left the tractor brake applied. I'm going to put it in drive. Okay. You might have to press the service brake just so it can engage the driver. So now I took it off. And it says it's on drive. It's not flashing. So it's actually in there. I'm going to give you just a little bit of gas. And you can see that the truck is not moving. And that's because the tractor brake is actually holding. So I tell them my tractor brake is holding. I'm going to apply the trailer brake, which is pull it out. I'm going to release the tractor. 
So now the one that's holding is the back, the trailer. I'm going to give a little bit of gadgets to tap. And then my trailer brake is holding. It's tugging and holding. Now I'm going to check my service brake, which is the actual pedal. So I put my foot on the brake. I'm going to push in the trailer brake. And by me pushing down the trailer brake and the tractor, they both release. I have no brakes except my foot. I'm going to let go, give a little bit of gas, move it like two feet. Press the service brake down. My service brake is working. It stopped the truck fully. Didn't pull left or right. I engage both brakes again. I pull them out, trailer and tractor, and I'm secure. I shut off the vehicle. I take my key and I tell them I'm ready to do the outside inspection, which is another video that we have, part two of the class A of the pre-trip inspection on the outside that you can check us out on our page on YouTube and Facebook. So this will be the con uh, conclusion of how to pass the air brake test and the cabin inspection for the automatic, uh, for those who are doing with the automatic. Uh, I hope, I hope uh, this video helps you guys out. We are more than happy, me and Victor, to share this uh, information with you guys here at Easy Wheels. And I hope you guys all come and check us out soon. See you guys out there in the road. Take care. Be safe.